All right. Um, we speaking of Cloverfield, we did, <laughs> uh, we did watch Cloverfield, and we can get right into that. So this, the way this came about, I think, is fucking awesome. Like, I love stuff like this. And really, after it happened, it didn't really hit me. I'm like, you know what? Fuck, they always do something different with Cloverfield. Like, it's always different, yeah. And, and, and I say that, and again, we've talked about this on the show a lot, but for people that haven't heard us say this, so, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Um, Rick and I went to a... a went to a screening of that movie. But when we Ten saw the, Lane. Right, but when we saw that movie, it wasn't called Ten Cloverfield Lane. There was nothing Cloverfield about it. We went there because the person that directed it, right? Dan Trachtenberg. Rick's a big fan. And we, TR? we knew it was kinda of, we just what? I was gonna say totally ratchet. Right? Okay. <laughs> and so that was kinda of why. And Rick and I like often sometimes, you know, in California and stuff we'll go to like you know, these screenings, sometimes you don't really know a lot about what they are or anything. Maybe you'll get a synopsis of your hero director. You'll hear uh, some actors some actors that are in it. This we went to go see and we just knew Dan Trachtenberg and uh, yeah, the Fuller House stuff. I know. Dude, we know. We, we know. know. Um, and yeah, so Dan Trachtenberg, that's all we knew. And yeah. then the movie was called Valencia. That's yeah. what it was fucking called. And before that, it was called The Cellar. Okay, and before that, it was called The Cellar. And then I think we knew John Goodman was in it and yeah. the guy from the newsroom. Like, we knew all that stuff. We're like, this is, in, this is cool. So we saw that movie. So just picture being us and watching that movie, and it's got nothing to do with Cloverfield. It's just called Valencia. And then think about if you've seen 10 Cloverfield Lane, like, then the turn happens. Yeah. And so even when it was over, there was nothing about it being fucking Cloverfield. Yeah. Like, they're... they're there was stuff added once it finally got unveiled to be closed, like in theaters. Like, yeah, we saw that. Yeah, the trailer was released, and then we're like, oh, this is you know, right. this is Dan, Dan Trachtenberg's movie, and then you see that Ten Cloverfield Lane, and we're like, what the fuck? Right, because because in the final version, don't do they pan away and show they show a the mailbox sign? Do they show the mailbox? Says Cloverfield that gets Lane, knocked right. down and says what we saw. Doesn't have that. They didn't have ten clover. Nothing. There was literally nothing. Like when Rick and I were like, man, that movie is really fucking good. Like we just walked away. Like this is a really good movie. I can't wait till this comes out. I kind of want to see what they change or what they do. And then when the movie finally got announced, it was called Ten Cloverfield Lane. And Rick and I were like, what the fuck? Like I feel like it was a disservice to call it Ten Cloverfield Lane. What I always maintain after that happened was that. It should have still been called Valencia or the cellar or something. And the big holy fuck moment is at that the ending. end they pull out and you see the sign or the mailbox that says Cloverfield. That would have been so much better because instead, knowing that it's called 10 Cloverfield Lane, like people are going in waiting for the turn. But legitimately, when we're, when we're watching this movie and they're stuck down there and John Goodman's talking about like we were attacked and blah, 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 like. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if it was an alien invasion. I didn't know if we were at war. Legit had no idea. So talk about like missed opportunity. Like I still think <laughs> it's such a missed opportunity. And I'm so glad you and I got to experience it the way Me that too. we did though. And no one else got to experience that except whoever else was in the theater with us and whoever else went to a screening when it was still called Valencia. But fuck, like that was just one of those things that was just a really cool experience. Um, so that said... <laughs> that said that that aside so then this i thought was awesome too because you're watching the super bowl and you see a preview for you know blah 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 and it's like the cloverfield paradox you know netflix and then i don't know if i just missed it on the first commercial or if they showed a second commercial that then made it clear that um that then made it clear that it was going to be on Netflix after. I could have sworn I could be wrong. So it you wouldn't can, make clear. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like there was two teasers. And the first one just said that it would be on Netflix. And then I think the second one made it clear that it was going to be on Netflix right after the Super Bowl. I, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So. Talking about the first movie. Reg yeah, yeah. Yeah. Regardless, it doesn't matter. But I just think I love that kind of market. Like, it's like, holy shit. Here's this thing. And hey, guess what? You can watch it right after the game on Netflix, like right away. I love stuff like that. Like, yeah. I wish that was yeah. That was like Netflix is like 
That was cooler than the whole fucking Dropping movie. Dropping the mic. <laughs> Dropping the mic. That was cooler than the whole movie. Yeah. Like, I just think that was awesome. And I love, like, marketing like that. I think they should do more shit like that. So there's, so there's, a, I just saw this meme today where it shows uh, Cloverfield, you know, six months of marketing for the movie. Ten Cloverfield Lane, um, something like, uh, like ARG, you know, adaptive and like, oh, two months before the movie comes out. And then, um, this one comes out right after the Super Bowl and it says the fifth one, JJ comes by in his car and throws the DV, throws the Blu-ray at your oh, house. The fifth one. Well, don't forget about the fourth one. Or the, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah Mata, you're probably right. There probably was just one trailer. I think I just missed. On I the think commercial. there was just the one. Yeah. I think I just missed where it said it would, that it was going to be on Netflix right after the game. Like, I think I only discovered that when I, like, I saw him, like, it's going to be on Netflix. And I remember thinking it was interesting because this movie was supposed to be in theaters. Like, it was supposed to be released already, and then it got pushed back and delayed. So I went online to look up the news on it, and that's when I saw that it was going to be on after the fucking game. So I probably just didn't see it. Also, Maybe, I might have been drunk. Getting, <laughs> also, getting more into it, like, apparently the studio didn't feel like it was uh, a theater release worthy. Yeah, and that, you know what I And watching it, I could, I could I see could that. I could probably see that. Like, I'm not going to. It was a fun movie. Knowing that it's going into it, knowing that it's a Cloverfield movie, I thought you could you don't know really what to expect other than right. chaos. Yeah. And also knowing that they're dealing with the, um, you know, full. I mean, I guess that's already getting into the movie, but getting into the movie. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, knowing that it's a J.J. Abrams movie, or at least in that world, you know, a bad robot world, like you know what you're kind of getting into. Um, so kind of watching it with the light expectations mm. but with high expectations well of course high expectations you know yeah. and i hate i hate that feeling that you get it's like oh this is skipping and i think netflix is trying to get away from that but you, you sometimes you think like oh this was going to be in theaters yeah. now it's not it was well, it's going straight to netflix does that mean it's not going to be that good you know so yeah the fourth is finished Mata. Yeah, the fourth is finished. the fourth is yeah. done and i think there's like a rumored september release date um october cheesy Okay, so Cheesy is confirming what I'm saying. So, yeah, okay, so there were two trailers, and I don't think I'm making that up. Obviously, Cheesy's backing me up on that, so I think there was two. I only saw one 30-second trailer. Did you trailer. watch the game? I didn't watch the game. I watched the game. Okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure something played twice, and Cheesy is confirming that. So, yeah, and I think the second one is when they said, watch it right now on Netflix. Gotcha, okay. Game. So, yeah. That's awesome. And I think that's so cool. Get, so get into the Let's movie. Get into the movie. So... Oh, but, but just to hammer on what I said, don't you kind of, like, do you ever get that, the, those feelings, though? Like, and I don't like it, but, like, sometimes you go in with a preconceived notion of, like, well, fuck, this is going to be in theaters now. It's not. It's going to be on Netflix. Does that mean it's going to kind of suck? Or there's something wrong? Mm. So do you ever get that thought sometimes? No, not with, okay. not with Netflix. So, sometimes I do. Not with Netflix. I think Netflix is trying to, to, fix, to fix that. But yeah. anyways, we'll get, we'll get into the movie. Yeah. So, so um what so what'd you think of it? Um I thought it was I thought it was good. I thought when it started off, I thought it started off kind of slow, but then it kind of hit a groove and then I started to really like it. Um I still like 10 Cloverfield Lane better. I think 10 Cloverfield Lane I is, think that's, it, the best I one. Think that's my favorite. Uh but I think this is good and obviously I'm in to see what happens next. And I'm excited for four, you know, but um, I, regardless, it was a fun treat, you know what I mean? To fucking be able to have this to watch after the Super Bowl, I think is cool. It's kind of a throwback for me, too. I remember, um, I don't know if you remember this, but a Super Bowl years ago, like fucking, you'd have to look back and see when this show started. But I remember going over to a friend's house and the Super Bowl was on Fox and they kept promoting throughout the game or even before, like days before that, like, oh, stay tuned after the Super Bowl for the new Seth MacFarlane show, American Dad. Oh, yeah. And I remember being really excited about it. Like, oh, fuck. Like, this is cool. I want to see a new Seth MacFarlane show as my voice cracks. Um, and this kind of reminded me of that. Like, I started to sort of associate the Super Bowl with, like, sometimes something kind of cool premieres or shows up after the Super Bowl. And I haven't had that feeling for a while because some of the stuff that they had been pushing hadn't really been my interest. Like American Dad was in my pipeline, and this is clearly in my pipeline. Yeah. And so 
what they did with Cloverfield Paradox reminded me heavily of what they did with American mm-hmm. uh, Dad. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, and Family Guy too was also after the Super Bowl, I believe. Well, they but I'm just saying what was cool about yeah, this yeah. was it was a brand new fucking Seth MacFarlane show. So. Yeah. Um. Um. What did you think of the movie? Squirrel. <laughs> I just saw Squirrel. <laughs> Sorry. Did you? Or are you just that? No, distracted? I did. No, I did. Okay. Um, uh, the movie was okay. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Um, kind of when I kind of figured out what the movie was gonna be about and how weird it was gonna be, I kind of let go of my expectations to try to like enjoy the movie, and I enjoyed it for what it was. I think it's great. We got a- answers and some questions, um, and uh, I had a good time. I love the actors. Uh, um, I forget his name. Oh, I have it right here. Yeah, what is that guy from? I know you're the guy. With He's the from beard, the right? IT crowd. Are you talking about ah, Chris yeah. O'Dowd? Yeah, okay. he played Mundy. What else is he in? Um, I know he's in the IT crowd, and then he was also he in. Only shown me a few episodes of that. Um, Bridesmaids. Ah, Bridesmaids. I think he had a show on HBO. Uh, he was on Get Shorty. The TV series. The TV though. series. Maybe ah, this is probably where I know him from. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Which, have um, you still not seen that movie? No, I still haven't seen that yet. You need to see that movie. But uh, yeah, I like I like him. He's a good actor. Uh, as um, far as I understand, Mata, I think yes, the fourth movie is for theaters. I don't think it's for Netflix. Yes, it is for theaters, as far as I know. Unless that changes. But, but as far the as rumors I were it. that's true about the rumors. There were rumors that Paramount didn't like the movie, so they like you know what? Let's just put it out. Mm-hmm. And after the Super Bowl, it makes sense because people are gonna you know get excited about it. At least for all the fans for that. But yeah, I heard that same exact rumor, so yeah. I can confirm that pretty much it being true. Um, I think the way the movie was released and the experience, I think helped helped a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean, and so it's cool. Um, and now, I also got the guy from uh, Winter Soldier. Okay, I think it's Daniel Brawl. I don't know who is he. Uh, he was he was in uh, he was in Winter Soldier. Winter or not? Yeah, Civil Zemo. War? Oh, he was also in Civil War. Yeah, maybe I'm getting confused. Maybe he was just Civil War. I don't see Winter Soldier on there. Anyway, it doesn't okay. Matter. Anyways, um, but yeah, like for the most part, I thought it was weird as fuck. We did get yeah. we did see the Tagarai sign. Uh, we did weird's see Slusho. Um, I've, yeah, that? so Slush I said weird is not necessarily bad though. I like. Oh yeah, weird. it's not I bad. Like weird. Yeah, I mean, where I was the Slusho like, part? I don't remember. It was a little. The little thing they had on the dash. Okay. Yeah. It was a little right. like bobblehead. That's right. Slush show. Um, which apparently that they were giving out last year in Comic Con. Um, I, I uh, did think that. So uh, Mata says, don't you think it was weird Chris lost his arm like that and didn't affect him at all? Um, I just. Yeah, yeah that I, was you, weird. It was weird. You want to really it, weird. It was weird. You want to know something I realized? I think oftentimes we have a bad habit of we respond to stuff in the chat. And for people listening to the show, or watching the show on YouTube, if we don't read what we're responding to, they're not going to does know. not yeah. come off right. So that's why I read that. It was weird, but I kind of liked it though. I thought it was kind of funny. It's like, yeah, I just fucking lost my arm, but it's cool. Let's just keep it going. You <laughs> yeah. know, like it was just kind of different. I think when you're put in a survival type of, you know, situation, like you just had to react. <laughs> well, I don't even think it was a scenario like that. I actually, but it like, legitimately like it didn't even hurt it. Yeah, him. that like I thought that that was kind of funny though. Like you I thought know it was what I mean? funny too. Yeah. So I actually didn't mind that. I thought it was weird, like, all right, so he lost his arm, so is that, the arm that ended up coming back, was that the other guy's arm from the I other world? world? So that's one of the questions that kind of confuses me. I actually, like, but, I, I uh, do think I, like, I want to watch all three of these before. I do want to see, see all three of them. I know you wanted to do that before even this one, but you're but like, fuck it. I'm fuck it. Because <laughs> we didn't know this was going to be uh, released the way it was. It just was sprung on us. Yeah. So um, it was a fun experience, man. I think it was cool. Like, not the best movie. I'm not going to claim that it was, but it was a fun overall experience for sure. Yeah. And the whole, let's just drop it now, was definitely the most of the experience of how yeah, cool it was. I, that's awesome. I love stuff like that, though. Yeah. I want that's why I'm excited to see this next movie. Um, did you watch any of the videos? We're going to get a little bit more. No, I am. Like, every, okay. I, like, I've been so wrapped up with Daisy and stuff that I just haven't had a chance to. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Well, well, maybe we'll come back to it. Yeah, then, I will. Because yeah. I want you to watch I want to watch that stuff. I'm uh, going to. It's on my yeah. to-do list. Oh, there's...